VectorWorks Spotlight 2010 comes with a new event planning suite. This complete set of automated tools and menu commands makes it a breeze to create rooms for events, ranging from banquets and corporate presentations to large-scale shows and exhibits, and everything in between. The commands are found in the event planning menu and are listed in the ideal order for creating an event layout. You can, however, use the commands in any order you wish and at any time. In this example, the room for my layout has already been created, so we wouldn't need to use the Create Room command. If the room was not yet created, we would use the Polygon tool to draw the room area, and then with that polygon selected, go to the Event Planning menu and choose Create Room. In this dialog, you can set the parameters for the room's walls and floors. Since the room is already created, we will move on to creating the stage. To create the stage, we will create a 2D polygon that represents the stage. Then with the object selected, simply select the Create Stage command. In the dialog box, we can set some properties for the stage. And then click OK. Now that the stage is created, let's place a set of stairs on both sides of the stage. You can go directly to the Create Stair command set the desired attributes in the dialog box, and then click OK. Notice that we did not have to input a stair height, since the height of the stairs is set according to the stage it is snapped to. Now that the first set of stairs is created, we can simply use the mirror tool to make another set on the other side. Next, we will place a lectern on the stage. For this step, you can go straight to the command and then set the parameters. You can also customize the attributes of the lectern and then click OK. Now for the screen object, we can go to the menu and select Create Screen. This will enable you to choose from many default screens which you can then place in your event plan. Screens can easily be configured through the Object Info Palette. You can learn more about screens in the feature video, Video Screen Objects. Now for the seating. First we will draw the area that seating will be placed in. Once the area is complete, we will run the event seating command. You can set the spacing and also customize the symbols that will be used. Once you are done with the customizations, click OK. Notice that a worksheet is automatically created with a list of the number of tables and chairs used. Once the room is laid out to your liking, you can automatically create views. One view is a 3D rendered view. As you can see in this viewport, and the other is a plan view, complete with a seating count worksheet. The new event planning suite is a great new addition to VectorWorks Spotlight that makes it easy to design events of any size.